everyone welcome to my channel sweet boutique by aditi i am your caking and baking friend aditi garware and today we are going to make a very interesting recipe and it is so yummy that is chocolate orange tart so to make chocolate and orange tart we will need to make the short crust dough so let's begin so for the short crust pastry we'll be using some cold butter Let's take it in a bowl. I am using caster sugar. You can also use powdered sugar. And then comes in the maida. Now remember, whenever you are making the short crust dough, do not use a beater. rather use your hands because we need the soil like texture for the dough let me wear the gloves now and let's get going so you can see the movement of my hand so don't knead this too hard like a fondant dough or a roti dough please keep your pressure soft because we need soil like texture so this is how you do it So you can see the soil like texture. This is exactly what I'm looking at. So now let's knead this together into a dough. So this starts coming together this way. So this looks good, but you can see the cracks on it. It's a little dry, so you can alter the consistency of your dough. by adding a little bit of milk or even water so just a little and then this starts coming together this looks perfect So let's cling wrap this and refrigerate it for approximately an hour and then we can roll out tarts out of it. So we are going to cling wrap this. Perfect. This looks amazing. Let's refrigerate this. It's nice and sturdy so I can roll out the tart dough and let's see how it turns out. This looks beautiful. So you can dust your workstation with some maida and just taking a bit of the dough. So this is nice and firm. With the help of a rolling pin, you can roll this out. This looks good. So I am going to use a cookie cutter, a round one. So let's cut this. This looks amazing. And instead of using a tart tin, I am going to use a muffin tray. Yes, a muffin tray. Because a lot of you might not have tart tins at home. so a muffin tray does suffice so how do you apply this so you can just take the cut portion and just press this inside so gently just press this inside and this way you can continue doing the others so all our tarts are ready and we are going to blind bake them so what do you mean by blind baking so blind baking is especially done when the tarts do have an unbaked filling on the inside so you want a cavity on the inside and you are going to pipe in a filling like ganache or pies or anything of that sort any kind of cream 
but you don't want the tart to rise completely you want a beautiful cavity on the inside so that's why we are going to add some weights to this how we are going to take some butter paper so i've cut out some squares and you can use kidney beans or rice or any kind of dal and this will act like your weight so this way we're going to add in the kidney beans so we have a beautiful cavity on the inside of the tart make sure you completely fill in the cavity and there's enough weight on the inside perfect this looks good so you can put this into an oven which has already been preheated for approximately 10 minutes and we are going to bake these tarts at 150 to 160 degrees celsius for approximately 15 minutes I can already smell the beautiful tarts. I think they are perfectly baked. Let's see. This looks perfect. The browning is beautiful. So let me just take off the kidney beans. Be very careful because it's hot. tarts look amazing so we'll wait for these to cool and then we'll demold it so the tarts have cooled down let's demold this they look so good look at the texture look at the browning i am loving them so now what are we going to fill them up with so i am going to use some orange chocolate ganache it already sounds so delicious So I have some ganache made over here and to know more about my recipe the link is in the description. I am going to use an orange and a zester. So let's make some orange zest and add to the ganache. This looks good. Let's mix this together. Now we would want the ganache to set. So I am going to refrigerate this for around 30 minutes. Also, if you do not have a fresh orange, you can also use orange essence. Okay, let's refrigerate this. So the ganache has already set and I have filled it into a piping bag with star tip. So let's pipe it. So you can create a swirl. This looks so amazing. Wow, I can't wait to dig in. Now, I am going to use some candied oranges. I am going to garnish them. Also let's add some mint leaves. So let's garnish this. This looks so good, so delicious and it's absolutely eggless. So how about trying this at home and do let me know in the comments how do you like this recipe Also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Sweet Boutique by Aditi do follow me on Facebook and Instagram thank you